Choosing the right print-on-demand niche will absolutely make or break your business. I've been selling print-on-demand for over seven years now and I can confidently say that every store that I had that failed was due to the niche that I chose. After doing $25 million in sales, all of the stores that did well was because I chose the right kind of niche. That's why today I'm gonna to be showing you how we can use AI to generate an unlimited number of winning niches to start print on demand stores in. Then I'm even gonna show you later on how we can generate an unlimited number of designs to serve people in those niches, basically giving us a one-two punch for building a highly scalable print on demand brand. The first thing we're gonna do is go to ChatGPT and ask it to generate a list of 10 popular print on demand niches for us which this part is pretty straightforward, but what you wanna actually do with that list is read through it and see which one of those niches actually pertain to you. Because we don't wanna just pick anything, like I don't wanna do a fishing niche if I hate fishing. We wanna do something that we know well so that whenever we're creating designs or trying to learn more about our customers, we can just think, what would I like? That'll be good enough. And this seems like a simple thing, but it's something that I see a lot of print on demand sellers messing up is they choose niches that they think will sell but they know nothing about it that's the wrong way to go about it you want to pick a niche that you know a lot about because it'll make the process 10 times easier and it'll make working on the business more fun and sustainable for you in the long term but then we're going to take it one step further that nobody else really does this is using something i learned a long time ago which is building a store around one niche is good but the way you really supercharge that is by building sub niches within your brand. So let me explain what I mean. If I have my print on demand brand VK Threads, which is for vacation and travel enthusiasts, that's good, but there are people within that niche that I can target even more specifically in sub niches. People who specifically like to vacation to the beach or people who specifically like to vacation to cities or travel to other countries are able to cater your products specifically to a person's needs or interests more specifically than just to a targeted broad audience that gets them really excited that gets them to be passionate buyers who not only will they buy from you the first time but they'll come back and buy from you again and again having a lifetime value of two three four purchases is how you build like a real lifestyle brand for yourself because then you can just send an email and you have people coming back to you. So then the question becomes, how do we come up with these sub niches? That's the next thing we're gonna do with ChatGPT. Here, I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to list out 10 print on demand sub niches for my VK Threads travel brand. The reason we're asking ChatGPT is just like the basic examples I gave you of beach or city goers, it's able to give a lot more detail. Like for example, you can see it said beach and coastal getaways, apparel featuring beach scenes, tropical landscapes, ocean related elements, perfect for beach lovers and coastal vacationers. It's far more detailed than anything I could have ever sat down and dreamt up. And then it has national parks and nature reserves, adventure travel and extreme sports, road trips and van life, cultural explorations and city breaks, cruise and nautical travel, foodie vacations, romantic getaways and honeymoon travels, family vacation and kid-friendly travel, and ecotourism and sustainable travel. So you can see how if we were just thinking about this through the lens of vacation and travel, like the number of ideas you can come up with for the designs and like who the customer is, it's fairly limited. I would have a hard time coming up with more than 100 design ideas, even with ChatGPT's help, before they would just start to get repetitive. But now, if I build out collections around each of those sub-niches, it opens up a whole new horizon of possibilities when it comes to our designs. And you might be thinking, okay, I have these sub-niches, but then what do I really do with them? Well, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is tag your products and create collections on your Shopify store. So if somebody comes to VK Threads, they're able to go to the Collections tab and sort by types of vacations and they'll see these 10 collections. I just did 10 now, I could do another 10, 20, 30. I could build out a massive catalog of different collections for people to shop by. And then the really exciting thing about this is we can now feed this back to ChatGPT to come up with design prompts that we can then use in an image generator like Midjourney. So here you can see I asked it to give us 10 design prompts per sub niche. So I'm asking for a hundred different designs in total and it's just plugging away. Now it pauses occasionally because it hits the response limit size, but 
if I just say keep going, it keeps on churning out new design prompts. And then the problem becomes, well, how do I actually get all these generated? And I could just plug them into Midjourney and copy and paste them. But honestly, as good as these ideas are, it would take some time for me to tweak all the prompts to get them to be good enough to launch on the site. And then even once the design prompts are good enough, it's a lot of work to remove the backgrounds, upscale the images, then upload it to my Printify account which is our print-on-demand supplier who will print, pack, and ship the orders to the end customer. That's why what we're developing is WeScale. And WeScale does this entire process for you. Here's a demo of how it works. You can see on the dashboard, you just choose the type of print-on-demand product you want. So we're talking about just t-shirts for now, but you can see how you can easily build out a massive catalog of all different types of products using this software. So I'm just gonna select t-shirt as the type of design that I want created for that product. And then I'm going to enter a prompt up at the top here. In this example, I'm gonna select ancient mythology, but I could plug anything in here. I could use any of the 10 sub niches that ChatGPT just gave me, for example. And then I'm gonna click generate art. And within a matter of seconds, it sends back perfect designs for selling on print on demand because it has a model that has been trained specifically for print-on-demand apparel designs. And unlike Midjourney, which is just giving you a wide range of different designs, everything from pictures to photorealism to like pastel art, it's taking everything in its database and just throwing stuff at you. What WeScale does is it has custom trained models specific to each different product type. So it knows the exact dimensions, styles, backgrounds, subjects, every element that makes a perfect t-shirt design we scale has already been trained on that and then it removes the background and gives you an upscaled image that is perfect to go right into your printify account but then my personal favorite part is that it doesn't stop there what it does next as you'll see is when i go over to my printify account it has already uploaded those designs onto my products this saves me hours not having to download the files upload them to printify resize it and then choose which products and colors i want to put it on it's already done all of that for us. And you can see how good these designs look on the t-shirts, which it is centered perfectly. It's the perfect sizing. And then if you click on one of the products, you'll see that along with the title, it's even come up with a clever description for us. And if you have a brand name and voice, like if you have like a funny brand, it'll write a product description that's funny and like sarcastic, which aligns with the rest of your branding. So WeScale is still in beta right now and not available to the public, but if you go over to wescale.ai, you can sign up to get early access once it is available and try it out for yourself. And let me know in the comment section what you think about this, what kind of features you would like to see, and we'll take all that into account as we're developing it. And if you're serious about growing a print on demand business, then watch this video over here where I break it down in extreme depth, exactly how to do that. Everything from optimizing your Shopify store to the financials, to the back end, to like everything you could possibly need to know. And I even give you a 365 point checklist completely for free that you can download and follow along with at your own speed. Be sure to like and subscribe for more updates on WeScale as they become available and more AI business content. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.